Combative Civilian here with another video. This one, highly requested. We're going to be taking a look at the upgrades done to my Springfield Armory Ronin EMP. First things first, I want to give a shout out to Brady Sherbon for being a straw that broke the camel's back. I made it known if I got enough inquiries about what my modifications were that I would make a video on those modifications. And here we are. I want to also give a couple honorable mentions out to Matt Lowe from York, PA and MJJ, who actually went out and purchased the EMP. I hope you're enjoying it, man. All right, back to the video. Kicking off this video, I have to start with the Stan Chin Chin SI or Shooter Installed Magwell. Stan Chin Customs offers the best 1911 Magwells on the market. Let's argue. I say that knowing in full confidence that once you see their product, you won't want to. Priced at about $150, available in a blued and stainless steel finish, with the backstrap checkering coming in at a 25 LPI. I don't really think you can ask for more. Installation is simple. In fact, it comes with a bag of M&Ms, and the theory is, is that by the time you're done eating the M&Ms, you'll be done installing the Magwell. And although it's a quick upgrade, boy, is the payout big. Single stacks are notoriously a little bit more difficult to reload than double. It's a smaller mag with a smaller hole. But this magwell evens the playing field. I felt the need to show another 1911 with the industry standard average magwell on it. Just to say, they're not even on the same level. I think by now though, you guys get it. Stan Chen Customs. This is the way. While I had my other 1911 out, which is a Rock Island Tech Ultra and 45 ACP, it reminded me why the next mod that I made to the EMP was so important. The EMP comes with beautiful wooden grips. I don't knock those at all. However, if you've never held a gun with VZ operator grips in your hand, you're kind of missing out. VZ makes some of the best grips in the aftermarket. In fact, a lot of stock guns come with them already installed. I wanted to try to maintain some of the EMP's classy tones, so I decided to go with the Black Cherry Operator Grip from them. This way, the G10 pattern kind of still gives you those wooden vibes, but also gives me the grip I love. The final modification is by no means the least. In fact, without it, the gun just felt as if it was missing something. A lot of 1911s tend to have some sort of stippling or checkering on the front strap. And fine, I'll acknowledge it. Maybe I'm spoiled. But the Ronin, as it comes, is bare. So I instantly began to search on what my options were. There actually are a good handful of options that you have. But for me and my intended use, the answer was as simple as going on Amazon and ordering front strap design skateboard grip tape. That's right. That's all that is. Grip tape cut out to fit the front strap. In fact, I figure if you're in between a rock and a hard place, you probably can make your own. So all together, between the magwell, the grip, and the front strap grip tape, the modifications combine, creating Voltron, the perfect EDC weapon for me. The Ronin was a great platform and already felt great in my hands. But after I did these few small things that addressed my few concerns, she's now not only my favorite EDC, but one of my favorite guns to shoot at the range. Guys, I also wanted to take a moment to say thank you for helping me reach 100 subscribers. My channel's only been up for about a month, and to me, that's a lot of growth. So thank you. I hope that you'll continue to tune in and share your thoughts as I create content to inform and entertain on the Combative Civilian channel. Here's to the journey for 500.